Oh boy, oh boy, a mainstream shonen anime content creator does not know anything about art and animation. Now you guys might be thinking, well, in other news, the floor is made out of floor. What the fuck is new? And yes, that is true. And if you followed me for any bit of time, you would know that I'm not the kind of guy who makes videos such as this one. I'm not the kind of guy who goes after other people. I'm not the kind of guy who's into drama. I have a very specific niche in the type of content that I want to create and I stick to that. So why am I doing this? The reason is that the person in question has a relatively large fan base and thus his words carry weight. And what he did was blatantly insult one of the greatest artists in the medium. And I know James, you're probably screaming at the monitor right now. It was just my opinion. I will get to that. Trust me, I will. There's no shortage of people spreading misinformation or hatred in the anime community. And the last thing that you should be doing is insulting the very same artists who shed blood, sweat and tears to put what you love on screen. This is the first and last video that I'm going to make about this discourse, by the way. I'm not going to bother making any more, even if he replies to this or reacts to this, whatever he does. If I go after every single dumb take about animation, I'm not going to have time to create content that I love making. Because this guy is very clearly a narcissist. Again, I'm not just talking out of my ass when I say that. I'm going to back up everything that I say with factual information, unlike what James did with Nishio. And yeah, arguing with a narcissist is pointless. But it is a lot of fun to point and laugh at them. If you've never tried it, I recommend that you give it a try. In fact, let's start with this video. Let's point and laugh at James Hansen. So this whole situation started with a tweet that he made, but he also made a whole video about this, which is why the reason I'm making this video, he couldn't just leave it at a stupid ass tweet. He had to justify his actions in a 15 minute video. But before I get to the video, let's start with the tweet. Let's see what sparked this entire situation. And here you have your average uneducated anime fan in his natural habitat, talking about people in a much higher positions than him and just being ignorant in general. So there are a lot of things that are wrong with this tweet. Firstly, the thing that he says is we should stop the Boruto character designer from touching anime. So he's reduced the legendary artist Tetsuya Nishio into the Boruto character designer. And yes, he'll defend that statement by saying that he's literally correct, but you clearly looked him up to see that he is in fact the Boruto character designer. You could have just said Nishio-san. It would be like me not referring to you as James, but instead just Bleach fan. In fact, that's just what I'm going to do for the rest of this video, including the title of this video. Secondly, of course, you say Boruto character designer, nothing else, because Nishio has of course done nothing else in his career. It's because people, including me, associate Boruto with negativity. I get it. It's not a very good show. And what Bleach fan here is doing is getting all those Boruto haters on his side by making this about Boruto. He's not hating on Nishio. I mean, God, how can he do that? Not Bleach fan. Bleach fan is a nice guy. He would never hate on any artist. He's just hating on Boruto's character designer. Mr. Bleach fan, the right way of saying this would have been at the nicest end, I don't like Kaiju number 8 designs. At the worst end, Kaiju number 8 designs suck ass, they are fucking awful. You went past that to insult the artist himself. Again, I can feel the bot army of it's just his opinion crawling up behind my back and I promise you I will get to that eventually. What Mr. Bleachman also does here is use an in-between frame of a character which I guess is somehow supposed to prove that Nishio is a bad character designer. Now obviously that's stupid, Nishio had nothing to do with that one in-between frame. Nishio-san is the character designer, not the in-betweener. They are different things. Uh, and of course, I'm not the only one in that thread to correct him. In fact, I'm one of the only ones who did not correct him. I just said this, which I know is not a very nice thing to say to someone, but I really don't care. It's just how I was raised. I have an overwhelming sense of justice. If I see someone being a piece of shit, I'm a piece of shit to them as well. But others actually did correct him. And in here picked in between frames from Bleach. So by Bleach fans own logic, the character designs for Bleach is terrible. In fact, no, what am I saying? He wouldn't even stop at that. No, he would say that Masashi Kudo, or um, the key animator for Naruto's episode 36, should never work on anime again. But he has a really good point. I'm not basing a in-between lol, which makes no sense. And I'm not just talking about the grammar. I can try to understand what he meant here, but even then that would be wrong because you are, in fact, basing a uh, in-between here. And he was lucky enough to be corrected by Ivakoi, someone who has a really good understanding of what being an animator is about. Ivakoi said, you should stop providing an in-between frame as an argument and then saying it is not an in-between, cause it is. And he provided the keyframe, which obviously is not of model to which Mr. Bleach replies, maybe you should try understand English better, as I didn't mention once anything about animation or in-between, but in fact, character design. First of all, the irony of him bringing up someone not understanding English when he just said this. Secondly, 
just the idea of what he's doing here. I didn't say anything wrong. You know, you just don't understand English. I'm just gonna gaslight you into believing that you are the problem. That is the textbook definition of narcissism. Ivakoi then continued to be as respectful as he possibly could be in trying to educate this guy. But of course, you can't change the mind of someone who believes he is right. Oh no, uh, sorry, he doesn't think he is right. He just believes that he deserves to have his own opinions. That gets me into his video now. I'll try to keep the insults at minimum, maybe. A dozen insults might come out, but I'll try to edit most of them out. Oh boy, oh boy, Kaiju number eight looks ass. And then they dropped the character designs, and boy, did they look fucking ass. And I was not the only person to ever say this. And I never really went out of my way to ever go look up who did the character designs because it just looked like the most generic NPC faces with different colored hairs and this girl with like these twin tails, whatever, right? It doesn't really matter. So James starts off by talking about the designs not being appealing to him. That's totally fine. If you don't like something, that's fine. As we know at this point, even a monkey should have figured it out that he is a Bleach fan, so we know what his taste of character designs and art and animation is like in general, that being one-to-one -one accuracy to the source material. No off-model designs, nothing creative, you don't even need movement, honestly. Just have colored manga panels, and that's good enough for him. For a lot of us, that is shit. I much prefer Nishio's take on character designs, the way he makes them bouncy, full of personality, and super expressive, instead of making them look like cardboard cutouts. But hey, that is fine. Different people have different tastes. He goes on to talk about why he dislikes Kaiju number 8, which is like completely unrelated, about the artist who may be opening an ending and the fact that it's streaming on X. Like, who gives a shit, man? Here's the thing about me and Twitter, right? Is that when I make a tweet, um, usually it's just for shits and giggles. Either I'll say something that is contextually like sound or like, hey, here's some information and that, or hey, here's an opinion. And then there's other times where I'm just shooting the shit, right? Unless it's a YouTube video, that's when I'm actually like really serious because it's important that I use my audience for good. And Twitter is just kind of like, just meh, you know, here's what I'm doing today, whatever. What does he think? That the people on Twitter are like a different species or something? Like we are lizard people on Twitter, sticking our tongue out every few seconds, closing our eyelids sideways until, oh, Mr. Bleach uploaded on YouTube. Let me just wear my human skin before I hop on there. I don't know why you thinking of a platform differently makes you obligated to change your personality from generic Bleach fan to generic disrespectful Bleach fan. So yeah, I get a message from my friend Jonathan. Oh, wait, hold on. Pause, pause, pause. pause. For the majority of the part, it looks okay. But it, that was noticeable to me. Like, I, I, I was like, I knew the moment. The moment that I saw it, I knew where it was. Yeah, do you know what you're noticing? That's movement. There's build up and release with the way she's moving her head. Instead of a PNG being dragged from one point to the next, there's bounciness to that move. It's animation. That is what you're noticing. Like, fucking hell. Like, here's the thing for me, right? It's like, I went out my way to see who the character designer was after this because I was just like, God, this is just so bad. Damn, he went out of his way to check the credits list, that is crazy. He's so awesome and knowledgeable for not saying that, you know, production IG is bad at animation because yeah, it's not the studio, it is the individual artist. And he went out of his way to learn about the industry that he makes a living out of by making content. And I was like, it's Nishio Tetsuya. And I've said this from the get-go. I don't care what all these other fucking animators want to say or whatever. This guy, you know, he was good on Ghost in the Shell. Great character designs. Great character designs on Naruto too. But the moment Boruto hit, it's like it was this washed out, low detail. And you know what? I'm not even the one to say it. Like, I'm not even being a hater. Boruto fans said that these character designs are just dead. They're just, they're just, there's no detail. The, the, the colors are washed. Line art's very, like, shady at best. And Let's actually analyze the critique that he has for Boruto's character designs. First, low detail doesn't make much sense because all of Naruto's best animated episodes are the ones where detail is an afterthought. Nishio's designs are always about peak expressiveness, it's about fluid movement. If he was fine with Naruto's designs, then Boruto's designs being low detail should not really be an issue either. The second and third points that he mentioned, what was that again? About colors or something? That's not even about the character design, that, that's about the compositing. That is, once again, completely unrelated. It's got nothing to do with the character designs. So yeah, your critiques, they're meaningless. Then Kaiju 8 comes out with the character designs and everything makes sense because like I'm looking at the eyes and the eyes are very distinct and you can tell somewhat that it's Nishio, but he fell off. I'm sorry, but as a, as a animation director, you know, key animation, all that sort of stuff is good, but as a character designer, ever since Boruto, to me, fell the fuck off. It's like, brother, where is your individuality? You're just a Kishimoto ripper through and through. It's not for him anymore. Like, I don't know why, I don't know what happened, but to me, stop. Stop, stop this man from character designing. And that's not me being a dick, you know, I'm not attacking the guy first and foremost, I'm not going up to him or, or, or sending people his way. I didn't even mention him by name. Mr. Bleach fan, let me school you on how opinions work. Just because you dislike something does not mean the person who made that 
should stop working. In my opinion, it's not a free pass to say fucking anything. In fact, let me follow your logic. Let me try this. You should have never been born. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be offensive or anything. It's just my opinion. I think that you should not have been born. I'm sorry, but your father, he fell off. He had fallen off way back as well. He's a good husband. I'm sure he's amazing at sex as well. But making children? Nah, man, it's just not for him and he should not have done that. And that's not me being a dick or anything. I'm not sending people after you. In fact, I'm not even mentioning you by name. I'm just saying that Mr. Bleach fan should not have been born. Is that okay to say? No, of course not. It does not matter how big the in my opinion shield that I'm using right now. I cannot defend that opinion. That is not how opinions work. The opinions that you have are also subject to other people's opinions. That's how critiquing and criticism works. The words, in my opinion, is not a golden pass for you to say anything. You know, with everything on Twitter is that you can do something really great. You can put up a really nice in-depth post and it can get 10 views, but the moment- Oh, that's so sad. I'm sure with all of his knowledge, he makes in-depth, nice posts all the time nice in-depth post and it can get 10 views but the moment you say something remotely something that goes against somebody's thoughts then that shit gets quote tweeted to all hell and it's really weird because it's like this bullying mentality of like we will silence you because we don't like this take whatever it is anyway oh my god you are the bully here you're saying that someone should lose their career because you don't like their work bleach fan here is like the teacher who says that the quiet kid is the bully just because he fought back the hypocrisy, it's its genuinely funny. But can someone tell me where in this, in this tweet whatsoever, do I mention animation? Is it an in-between frame? Yes, it is. Exactly. It is an in-between frame. You posted an in-between frame. Just because you think the character designs are as in general doesn't mean you can just post an in-between frame, not the character design, in-between frame, and say that the character designer should never work on anime again because the in-between frame, not the character design, in-between frame, that sucks. Are, are we clear about that? So there's this arrow here on your keyboard. It points to the left side. Press that again a couple of times and you can hear me say that again. Or maybe I could even try a different language. Awooga babooga, in-between. Awooga babooga, character design. Bagooga babooga. It's a, it's a well-renowned, you know, thing that people have said many a times over. This is not something that is new. I'm just gooning, right? I think the guy should stop character designing because he's either a Kishimoto clone or just whatever this is, right? Because it just ain't working. It just is not it for me and he should just stop touching anime if he's going to keep character design. That's my opinion, right? You can be like, well, I don't agree. I really think that you should stop making videos and delete your YouTube channel. Again, again, this is not something that I'm just saying. It's been talked about by other people as well. Your content sucks ass in general. You are obligated to take that into consideration and you should not get hurt by what I'm saying right now. Because what I'm saying is not a personal attack. I'm not hating on you. I'm just expressing my opinion. And, and people went out of their way to be like, posting an in-between making fun of people's works to get some interaction. Again, like, it, <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you if you drew that and you handed it in and you think that that's acceptable, it's not. That's why we have, and here's the thing that I kind of wanted to talk about. There was a video I did a really long time ago and it was like, come on guys, he knows better than in-between animators. Of course he does. So he gets mad when you say that an animator knows more about animation than he does. His intelligence is comparable to flat earthers. He's on the same level as flat earthers arguing against planetologists just because his opinion is that the earth is flat and his opinion should count. Not only that, but the planetologists, they should stop studying planets because he thinks the earth is flat. It's on screen somewhere and I kind of, you know, compared the openings to One Piece, Naruto and Bleach. Just from the thumbnail or whatever this is in this video, I can already tell what's wrong in this. Like, it's a zoomed in picture. Oh my God me over here looks better than me over here in this mirror. What could be the reason? Is God not rendering my reflection there properly? Like, and I got a lot of shit from animators and still, you know, anytime anyone on Twitter or X or on YouTube mentions anything remotely about an in-between frame looking bad, they're like, oh, it's an in-between, bro, it's an in-between, stop being a dickhead, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, wait, if, 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 if we are, if we are supposed to just accept bad art as an in-between frame or an in-between frame is bad art and it's not to be expected to be good, then why the fuck in Blu-rays do they make corrections? Oh, he, he actually got me with that one like I, I don't have an answer to that because the question makes no fucking sense we are not accepting that in between frames are supposed to have bad art don't put words into our mouths we don't call it bad art do you know what we call them just in between frames that's all it is for example Look at this. That is the ugliest fucking thing I've seen today. If I had a face like that, I would be using nitric acid as my moisturizer before going to sleep every night. Thankfully, Mr. Bleach fan doesn't actually look like that all the time. He looks like this and to be honest, he's kind of cute. Hmm. Now that begs the question. If he looks good and if this 
clearly looks ugly. Why would he bother making such a face? Is he stupid, perhaps? The staff know that it's a bad art, unless it's a smear, unless it's a high action pack movement where the face is supposed to be distorted to match into a fluidity of another frame, then that makes sense. If, if the frame is like, it's like a being the fluid and if the other frame is the fluid and if it's like uh, connecting like a Lego and if the Lego is flipped and, the, and then stretched, then, then in between, fine. Then bad art, fine. Yeah? But when it's literally a static shot that isn't going into something else and is just genuinely disproportioned for the sake of being disproportioned and it's just bad art, then let's recognize something as bad and let's either critique it or take the piss out of it so it gets fixed for a home cinema release, right? But it is not a static shot. The in-between frame that you used here, they're connecting keyframes. The following ones that I'm showing on screen right now. This is the motion that apparently is static to you. Um, because I don't know, if for some reason, if for the 10 years that I've been on Twitter, you cannot, for the life of you, take the piss out of bad art in anime because animators cry for some reason. Like, you cannot talk about something being just bad art. Oh, well, you're not an animator. You don't know. It's bad. It's bad art. Just deal with it. It's, it's bad art. Just do better, right? The audacity of this man to say, do better to animators. Does he like anyone? He likes anything associated with Bleach, so he must like Bleach animators. I'm sure a lot of artists on Bleach, they look up to Nishio-san and they obviously disagree with what he's saying here. I'm sure if someone from the Bleach animation team directly corrects him, he would still not change his opinion. He would still be like, you know less than me. Because that's just the kind of person he is. This is the exact same situation as Jason Klum and Chris. You would think that Jason Klum can't get any worse, but here we have this guy who is Jason Klum but bleach art is uh, way more objective than you think it is yes there are subjective tastes when it comes within the medium of animation i could take chainsaw man as a very good example here chainsaw man subjectively is not my favorite art style but objectively it is one of the most complicated pieces of art that's ever graced tv animation and to know what's objective you need to have knowledge about the subject and you are here talking about animators crying when you say stupid shit. Bro, you replied to literally every single comment that is critiquing you. You rarely see someone with this much time to cry about something. And then you made an entire fucking video to cry about it even more. You are making completely misinformed critiques on animation. And as soon as someone corrects you, they are crying. This is comical levels of hypocrisy, man. Like, do better. What's bad is bad. This is why, you know, they correct things multiple times. If it wasn't bad, then it wouldn't be corrected. So let's stop with this ego. What would you call it? An ego? You know, some people posted pictures of like Ichigo from the Thousand Year Blue Rock and it is, you know, it is what it is. The Blu-rays made so many corrections. So it's like, yeah, there's bad art here and there. I've never once, you know, defended bad art in Bleach, like ever. I've even critiqued it myself in the Blu-rays, in the Blu-ray correction videos that I do. Just because there are some corrections in the Blu-rays associated with in-betweening doesn't mean that any in-betweening ever is wrong. Just because there are abortions doesn't mean that kids should never be born. Yes, there are some that were made by washed out parents, but not all of them should be aborted. No, my character at all. You've just assumed something. You've made a quote tweet maliciously to get me bullied or attacked, and you stand on this moral high ground that you are in fact better than me or are a better person because I said I don't like a character design. Dude, it is so easy to get the moral high ground over you. Had it ever come to the notion that maybe you are also equally an arsehole? Finally, found something that we agree about. I agree. I'm an asshole. I'm on that Megumi Fushigoro grind set. I respect people unequally because there are only few that deserve it. I'm apparently fucked in the head for calling Nishio the Boruto character designer, which he is. Yeah, I agree with Mr. Bleach fan here, whose entire existence is being Mr. Bleach fan and nothing else. And then of course I got told by the shoes a rock star to go hang myself. That is a shitty thing to say. You should never say that. I don't agree with that either. All he had to say was, in my opinion, you should hang yourself. But he skipped those three words just to be petty. The amount of times I, th that I mention Boruto or anything remotely related to Boruto, the amount of attacks that I get maliciously, I mean, not even maliciously, but it's like the death threats, the allegations, like the, the, the defamation of character. And I'm supposed to sit here like they are the righteous ones. And it's just quite funny to me. It was your active decision made by the two brain cells that you have to make this about Boruto. You are the one who referred to Nishio as the Boruto character designer. You are the stick in bicycle meme. Again, I'm not taking the side of Boruto fans here, but you are the one who made it about Boruto fans. You could have avoided this whole situation. You know, you have so many people. I got called an engagement farmer. Do I even have to say something against that? No, I, I, I don't. I'll just play his own clips. The, there's a main takeaway I want to take from this, but I kind of wanted to joke about it a little bit because I was getting a lot of traction from it and I was like, fuck it, I'm going to make money from you if you're going to keep taking the piss. A few moments later. I got called an engagement farmer. Mr. Bleach fan has no self-awareness. He looks at the mirror and he says a Jujutsu Kaisen fan. And the takeaway that I want to give from this is that there are thousands of people every single day on Twitter that slander Kubo, slander Kishimoto, slander Oda, 
because fans keep fighting each other about whose series is better. Like, but the moment that I say, the moment that I say that the Boruto character design needs to stop fucking touching anime in terms of character designs, right? I'm the bad guy. Uh, again, with the hypocrisy, you just said that you shouldn't be an asshole because other people are doing that. And now you are justifying why you being an asshole is fine because there are tens and hundreds of people doing that. And I do think that Nishio, uh, if I say his name right, he needs to, to be honest, change his art style to me. I think that's a valid opinion. But some people like it, so that's all to you. But I think it's doing Kaiju 8 a massive disservice. And I think, you know, with the opening and ending not being that great in my opinion, how many times will you say my opinion? It doesn't change anything. It might come as a surprise to you, but when you say something, it is understood that it is your opinion because guess what? You are the one saying it. It doesn't really change anything. When you say, in my opinion, Nishio needs to lose his career, you're saying, Nishio should lose his career. Whereas I think with Kaiju 8, it is a little bit disrespectful to the IP, but again, that's just my view. Because of course, you speak for the IP. You speak for the author of Kaiju number 8. This is why I'm so glad that Akutami Gege is a knowledgeable fan of Sakuga. Even with him blatantly spelling out how stupid 4K 60fps edits are, we still have 4K 60fps edits. Imagine what would be the condition of JJK's fanbase if Akutami Gege didn't actively support the animators. I guess we don't have to imagine that, you know, we do have Bleach fans. Also, just to end off this video, just because an animator disagrees with me on Twitter does not make their opinion on objective fucking visualization better than mine. That is not what happened at all. Evakoi did not say that your objective visualization sucks. No, he said that using an in-between frame to insult the character designer is wrong. And yes, that is wrong because it's completely unrelated. There's so much shit that I could say about you to insult you. You have a Twitter blue subscription. You identify yourself as a social media influencer. You. You're British, but that doesn't make you a bad content creator. Making shitty content is what makes you a bad content creator. So I can't have an opinion on whether something looks good because an animator said that they disagree with me. You, the, the brain. You can have an opinion on whether something looks good or not. What you're not allowed to say is that a legendary figure who many of us love, being Tetsuya Nishio, should never work on anime again because of your subjective taste in animation. For the millionth fucking time, there is a difference between the two. Stop trying to gaslight people and for fuck's sake, stop playing the victim. It is so fucking pathetic when you try playing the victim here. I don't know what the conclusion was to this video. Peace out. Oh, we all know what the conclusion is to this video. I don't even have to spell it out. At the end of the day, he's entitled to his own opinion, but our opinions are what make us what we are. Having terrible opinions make you a terrible person. That's just how it works. Just because your opinion is an opinion, doesn't mean your opinion doesn't mean anything. If that was the case, nobody's opinion would mean anything. And you can't just have the opinion that your opinion is an opinion slash a critique, while everyone else having an opinion is just them crying. No one else is allowed to have an opinion but you. There is a word to describe people such as yourself. Once again, this is not the kind of video that I make. I'm not going to continue making such videos either. It's just not my style. I just wanted to let off some steam and this video allowed me to do that. I needed this, but you guys didn't. This could have been Jujutsu Kaisen episode 17 Blu-ray analysis or fucking Freyer and animation analysis, but instead you get the shit. So I'm very sorry about that. And yeah, that's about it. I'm not going to ask for likes on this video, but do leave your comment on the matter.